Hi, welcome to this week in Book Reels, the number one book trailer review show. My name is Dan Rosen and I am your co-host. And I'm Michelle Vilmer, lifestyle writer and founder of the blog Homemade Mimi. On today's show, we're going to see a couple of truly movie quality book trailers, along with a really beautiful literary book trailer. We're going to start with two short book trailers that when I first saw them, I just assumed that they were for actual movies. They're that good. Um, we'll talk about that on the other side. But first, here's the book trailers for A Book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes okay. and uh, Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. Let's check it out. My name is Becca Hatcher. I don't know what's happened to me. I don't know where I am or how I got here, but I know one thing. You're gonna help me get back home. I'm the daughter of murdered parents. I'm the friend of a dead girl. I'm the lover of my enemy. And I will have my revenge. There you have it. That looks good. They're, they're both good. And like, like you said, they, are, they seem like they're movies. Yeah, they do. Like if I was in a movie theater watching, oh, that's the preview. Beautiful there you go. Lighting. Full disclosure, I have many times been a lover of my enemy. So I don't know yeah, if yeah. I'm allowed yeah, to. Yeah, I know. It doesn't seem that it far out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, it's, I mean, okay, both of these, they're different kind of book trailers. They're short, they're really to the point, mm -hmm. they're made for television. I don't know if there was a television buy or something and that's why they're 30 seconds. But I think they're both really intriguing. But we're talking about Daughter Deep Silence first. Uh, really intriguing, uh, really quick, sexy, I get it. It's a sexy thriller, done, I'm, I'm yeah, in. Yeah, sex and violence and There's revenge, revenge. And revenge, what else? Yeah. I mean, come on, seriously. Yeah. And then the next one is the what's, what's a, a book of spirits and thieves. Yes. The library one. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I love that girl's voice. That was a, she had a great voice. She has I, a great I feel voice. Like I heard her voice in a tampon commercial recently, but not, that, that's okay. I mean, you know, you gotta we're not work. not it's, judging. You got to yeah, work. No, I mean, yeah, actress, you know, actress yeah. got to eat. But um, that trailer is great. Uh, they're Penguin Teen books, so that's a I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. that's a YA book. Um, I love it because it's like, you're gonna help me get home. And I'm not sure, mm -hmm. the first time I saw it, I'm like, oh, she's talking about the guy, obviously. But then I was thinking, no, I think she's talking about the reader. Oh, choose your own adventure? Yeah, Come on. it's great. Love that. Uh, I'm a big cup up for yeah, both of those. for me too. And uh, really important to mention, those are both by a company called Red 14 Films mm -hmm. that make, I think, the best book trailers. Uh, I think something like half the nominated book trailers for the last Book Reel Awards. Do you hear that, authors? Were Red 14 Films. This is a great company to produce yeah. your your book trailers. And let's move on to our next trailer, uh, which could not be more different mm -hmm. than these two. This is way more literary, uh, and it's a literary fiction, so it should mm -hmm. be. It's called The Small Backs of Children, and it's by Lydia Yukonovich. Mm -hmm. Let's check it Good out. Job. Thanks.
Okay, mm -hmm. I was not kidding when I said uh, that could not have been more different. <laughs> Then the, the other two were two very commercial driven. Mm -hmm. This seems like I'm watching, uh, and I liked it, but it's like a Sundance yes. in the foreign film right. Russian right. competition mm -hmm. thing or whatever, yeah. complete with the music. Oh. Uh, the very footage is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very wide shots mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, t what did you think? Devastating. I, I watched that and I think this book better come with a box of Kleenex because <laughs> it's beyond heartbreaking, watching a child walk alone in the woods with those, you know, magnificent trees and some of them have fallen and wearing camo. It was so, um, it was devastating. And then the gunshot in the background, it's... Right, now um, speaking of the gunshot, we talked about, just in the last segment about, and in, uh, in other shows about, shorter is, I think is always better. Mm -hmm. I, I think this could have used a little bit of that in this. And you I'll think you would have cut that down? I, told, I'll tell you, I didn't mind the length of this. I'll tell you exactly where I would have cut mm -hmm. it. Okay. I would have gone, I would have had this beautiful shot. I'd mm -hmm. see, is that a boy or a girl? Do we know? A girl, I think. But okay. Good I'd show her washing her hands. The music comes up to this big crescendo, right? Mm -hmm. We're watching her, innocent kid, mm. gunshot. Wide shot, pulling mm -hmm. up, peace out. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that. I'd end it right at the 110 mark and it goes on for another 50 seconds. Okay, I hear you. I just think sometimes it's okay to be a little long. To get, you, you want the, the viewer, the reader to get comfortable in a situation and then surprise them. I, I get that. It's a literary thing. I'm just saying if I was, I'd be more enticed hearing those gunshots. I also would have worked on the, the sound design a little bit more to make it clear that those were, I, I want to hear bold, loud gunshots. Again, just from a production okay, standpoint. This guy's from LA. <laughs> Sorry, Actually, from, from LA, Baltimore. from Baltimore, <laughs> from Baltimore, and even more importantly, you got to get the gunshots get right. The gunshots right. Yeah. Baltimore boy says so. Yeah, uh, but if I heard those gunshots, we pull that shot out. I, I'm really intrigued. Mm -hmm. I'm way more intrigued than I was watching another 50 seconds of, of green stuff. Mm -hmm. Music was great though. Um, I'm gonna give it a half a cup. You, I can't wait to buy this book. My cup is up. Okay, cup and a half, fair enough. Um, well, that was a great show. We saw three great really show. great trailers. Yeah. Uh, well, that's our show for this week. If you have any comments or suggestions, or if you have a book trailer you want us to review, hit us up on Twitter, at Book Reels, or write to me at dan at bookreels.com. We hope you enjoyed today's show, and check back next week where we'll review even more of the latest and greatest book trailers. Remember, don't judge a book by its cover. Judge it by its book reels.